Ixi is just about to release a new keyword tool, the Marketplace Insights tool, and I'm going to show you how to use it. Who am I? I'm Pam Duffy. I've been selling on Etsy since 2008. I've been teaching people to sell on Etsy for a way long time. I also work for E-Rank, teaching people how to sell on Etsy, and I've even presented with Etsy in their Etsy U, Etsy University and Etsy Shop Camp, teaching people all about keyword research and SEO. So I'm probably one of the most qualified people on the planet to teach you how to use this tool. So let's dig into it. So first of all, when you go to the Marketplace Insights tool on Etsy, you'll see like any other kind of keyword tool, you'll see a place to type in your keyword. So find out what buyers are searching for on Etsy. Now already there's a slight problem, there's a mistake people are going to make here. So I want to dig into this because unless you have an Etsy paid account, a pro account is it Etsy plus whatever they call it unless you have that you will only have 15 searches a week and if you're making mistakes with your keyword searches then you can burn through these really quickly so what is a keyword a keyword is the word or phrase that customers type into the search bar on Etsy it's not your title it's not your tags these are things that you can use not only to help the customer understand what your item is, but also to make the algorithm understand what your item is. Um, so you can use that to hopefully show the algorithm that you're relevant for good keywords, but you do not want to put into the search bar here. You do not want to put into this bar, say, your title or all of your tags or anything like that. That is not going to give you data. What you want to put in is what you think customers are searching for. So here is another mistake that people make is you get stuck up. You know what your process is. An example I'll give because it's something that I've purchased in the past. A lost wax method pendant made in silver, something like this. So lost wax silver pendant. This might be something that you think is very relevant. That is what your item is. That's what you make. However, most buyers don't know the method you use to create your item rather than lost wax method. They might be want, looking for a statement heart pendant. So think about what it is that buyers will be searching for. And the other thing, when you're doing any kind of keyword research or marketplace insights, you don't want to go too niche when in the start of your search because then you won't get any results because so few people are searching. You want to start a little higher level. So if what you make is a bronze and opal steampunk engagement ring and you type that in, there's very few people searching for that. So you've wasted a search. What you might want to look into is things like steampunk ring, opal engagement ring, these kind of terms and see if there's demand for this. So think of a high level keyword. So here Etsy's put in Halloween candle. They're not putting in spooky ghost Halloween candle. Now a good thing keyword research is for, it's not just for teaching the algorithm, you know, you, you want your listing to be relevant. As it's saying here, Marketplace Insights, it's giving you ideas into what things you could make. So if you make candles and Halloween's coming up, rather than create a whole bunch of candles and hope people like them, if you search for a Halloween candle, you might be able to get an idea of, are people searching for Halloween candles? Yes, but what types of Halloween candles are they searching for? So you can figure out that perhaps cat Halloween candles are more popular than ghost Halloween candles. I'm just making up examples. So you have this. Now, if you're not sure, you can see lower down in this tool, we have categories related to the items you sell. Now, I don't know how good this is going to be. We're going to have to test it a whole lot because as you can already see in the example Etsy's given us, indoor planters, cookie jars, school supplies, hoop earrings, what kind of shop is this they are looking at? But hopefully this will be a little targeted down. Um, and it does say this data is based on the last day, 30 days of searches. That's for everything here. They don't tell us if it's worldwide searches or 
location specific or whatever but anyway so explore categories related to items you sell so here you'll see in a second well no you won't let's have a look just now so if you click on these this i don't know if this counts into your search volume but you'll get some ideas of keywords from the category that you set that Etsy's decided you sell in. So indoor planters, it gives you an idea. You get, this is the search volume, these numbers at the side, but you get some ideas of some keywords. So what's trending in indoor planters? People are searching for plant lover gifts. Now this isn't keyword research, by the way, this is just screenshots by Etsy. So don't believe any of these are great, but gives you an idea of things here this gives you an idea of keywords that you could search for if they're relevant and also a quick look at you know what's what's good here because plant lover gift that could be a good thing to put into your title if it's a plant lover gift well if you're selling indoor planters and especially if they're cool 3d printed um indoor planters and then you just click on on these other categories to get some ideas so here's a good way to get some keywords that at least some people are searching for all of these seem to have search um volume because it's saying the most search keywords in the categories you sell so yep that could be handy and save some of those 15 keyword searches now if you have typed in halloween candle or whatever you've searched for what you are going to see here is your data from halloween candle the real-time data from the last 30 days now what is really good about this is this is real data from etsy etsy know how many people are searching for things and they haven't shared that data with anyone tools like erank have to use different method um i know because i work for erank i'm not sponsored these videos i know um E rank uses the same method that's industry standard for anything like this. This is how people get Amazon viewing numbers and all that kind of thing. Way back to the days of the Nielsen telly things where there was a tracker put on certain tellies but basically it's a large large panel of real internet users who've opted in for their data to be allowed to be shared and then that's extrapolated it's enough data to be statistically significant and then that's extrapolated back to tell you an estimated search volume this is the real search volume however it's only for 30 days this is a slight problem if you're looking for halloween related things or possibly you're starting to look for Christmas things. You'll see what the volume is now, but you want to list your things before that search trend kicks off. So you would maybe want to be doing this search a couple of months beforehand to see what was kicking off. But it's also, it is good to see the data right now to be able to look and say, oh heck, if I'm selling Halloween candles, I really want to get them out just now. The search volume is on an upward trend. I don't know if this is real data from Etsy, so don't listen to but this is what you're doing with the data. So you see here, the buyer demand is around 4,000 searches, and this will be a cumulative. What you're seeing of the 30 days here, 100 to 200 searches, that'll add up to, to about 4,000. Um, and you can see the trend is on the upwards direction. And the supply, this is the competition. This is the number of listings that you would be competing against in search if you decided to make a Halloween candle. So what this has done, it's not said you want to make Halloween candles. It's saying people are searching and hopefully buying when they see Halloween candles. Um, and but there's a lot of competition it's actually not too bad i would say if you make candles don't don't fear don't fear that size of competition if that's what's out there so it gives you a little idea is there demand for that type of item yes there absolutely is now if you search for something a keyword you know something that you already make and you're thinking i'm not getting any views for it and you look and you see oh yeah people are actually searching for it what's going on here what you can do is nip over to erank and use the rank checker put in that keyword and then you'll see if you're actually ranking if you're showing up in search for those keywords because at 56 nearly fifty-seven thousand listings 
you're not guaranteed to get be getting a place in search each you can only show so many listings so it's good to check that and maybe you need to drill down maybe you need to find something a little more niche than just Halloween candle as we already said what type of Halloween candle. Thankful Etsy is helping us a little bit here. If you scroll down from that graph, you'll see discover similar keywords. Look at the similar keywords to find opportunities with high buyer demand, but fewer listings. So basically it's saying niche down. Now what seems to be happening here is they're showing you all the search terms that contain Halloween candles. So a Halloween candle holder holders, Halloween candle molds. So like if you 3D, we already said you're 3D printing planters. Can you? Can you 3D print, print candle molds? I don't know. Right, vintage candles, candle labels. So it gives you an idea of what people are searching for. And you can see how quickly when you go from these high level um, keywords like Halloween candle at 4,000 searches and candles at 4.6 thousand searches. But as you go further down, you are getting much, much less searches, but the competition with the marketplace supply is much, much less as well. However, I would say these are, these are a lot of tricky keywords. Um, yeah, this is a tricky niche to get seen in because everything has got a lot of listings there already. I would love to know the type of candles. Is it ghosts? Is it cats? But it does um, does seem slightly limited just now, but it still gives you an idea. Are there... Are there people searching for that kind of thing? Yes, they are. Now, this is clearly Etsy's first attempt at something like this. Um, so, yeah, good good for them for trying, as far as I can see. Let me know what you think. Is is this a good thing that Etsy's done? Um, this should be rolling out to people in the next few weeks. I think it is interesting. I'm excited to see new Etsy data. However, it's definitely limited for just now. I think it would be best to use this in conjunction with other tools. Um, so definitely use, use up your 15 searches. Use them on sensible keywords. Don't go too long tail. Don't go bronze. And, when, when you're sitting down to type, think, Am I thinking bronze and opal steampunk engagement ring? Too niche. No one's going to be searching for it. That's not going to result. bring me any results and it's going to cost me a search. Or are you thinking lost wax pendant? No, I'm going too technical. I want to think of what buyers are searching for. And so have a look at heart pendant, silver pendant. Um, but yeah, I hope that helps. And let me know when you get this tool and are you excited by it? And is it helping you? <laughs> I'm interested to see where Etsy goes with this tool, but this is their first version. So it'll be their worst version. That's that's how these things happen. In any case, I'll see you in the next one.